Hi guys, welcome to our channel Bioskill Circle and today we are going to discuss one of the very important and interesting topic that is urea cycle, right? Urea cycle, also known as ornithine cycle, is a cycle of biochemical reactions that produces urea from ammonia. One important point I want to add here is that this cycle occurs in ureotelic organisms. Urea cycle is also called Krebs Hanslet cycle, named after its scientist who actually gave this cycle. So Krebs Hanslet cycle is another name for urea or ornithine cycle. One interesting fact about this cycle is that this cycle was the first metabolic cycle to be discovered. This was discovered in 1932, five years before the discovery of TCA cycle. And you know that TCA cycle was also discovered by Crab in 1937. Now the first question that will come in your mind is, where does this cycle take place? And the answer is that this cycle takes place primarily in liver and to a lesser extent in kidneys. So you can say that urea cycle occurs in hepatocytes. Hepatocytes means liver cells, right? Now the second important question, why does this cycle take place? And the reason is that ammonia is highly toxic even small amount and it must be removed from the body immediately so the urea cycle converts a highly toxic material that is ammonia into a less toxic form that is urea the urea is formed from ammonia carbon dioxide and aspartate in a cyclic pathway so the urea that is produced by the liver then enters the bloodstream where it travels to the kidney and is ultimately excreted in urine, right? Urea cycle, as you can see, consists of five sequential enzymatic reactions. The first two reactions, that is step number one and step number two, occur in mitochondria of liver cells and the remaining three reactions take place in cytosol, right? In the first step, carbamoyl phosphate is produced, right? And you can see that this is energy dependent reaction and energy is provided by ATP, right? In the second step, carbamoyl phosphate reacts with ornithine to form citrulline. And as you can see here, citrulline passes into the cytosol. The next three steps occur in the cytosol. Now, citrulline reacts with aspartate to form arginosuccinate, and this is ATP dependent reaction. In the fourth step, arginine is formed from arginosuccinate. In this reaction, Fumarate is released which enters the TCA cycle. In the fifth and final step, urea is formed and ornithine is regenerated. Right? So now let's take a look at the details of urea cycle. As I told you earlier that the first two reactions take place in the mitochondria and the remaining three reactions occur in the cytosol. So urea cycle begins with the formation of carbamoyl phosphate and this is the first step of urea cycle. The substrates for this reaction are ammonium and bicarbonate. This reaction is catalyzed by carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1. I have to mention here that carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1 becomes active 
in the presence of n acetyl glutamate only so n acetyl glutamate is required to activate carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1 right in this reaction two molecules of atp are required one atp is used to activate bicarbonate and the second molecule is used to phosphorylate carbonate right second step is formation of citrulline in this step carbamoyl phosphate combines with ornithine to form citrulline this reaction takes place in the matrix of mitochondria the enzyme involved in this reaction is ornithine carbamoyl transferase in this reaction inorganic phosphate is released right Citrulline then moves into the cytoplasm. Third step is the formation of arginosuccinate. Citrulline reacts with aspartate to form arginosuccinate. This is ATP dependent reaction. The enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is arginosuccinate synthetase. The important point to remember here is that aspartate provides second nitrogen that is ultimately incorporated into urea right next step is the formation of arginine here arginine is formed from arginosuccinate arginosuccinate splits into arginine and fumarate fumarate enters the citric acid cycle the enzyme involved in this reaction is arginosuccinate lyse. In the fifth step, arginine reacts with water to form urea and ornithine. This is hydrolytic reaction. Ornithine is regenerated here and this reaction is catalyzed by arginase. Right? I hope you like this video. Do hit the like button, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching.